hello guys welcome to see learning with new video today i will uh, teach you that how to capture data in wireshark uh, there are many uh, when a student asking the questions that how to capture data in wireshark there is problem with them so i will tell you how to capture data in wireshark so i make a simple topology so what to do now you have to just click on router or any other device where you want to capture data on on router you can capture data there is only one interface so you can only capture data at only one interface on this interface and on a switch you have the three interfaces so you can capture data on three interfaces one by one so i will capture data on switch so right click and right here and one more thing you have to install uh, wireshark along with ensp and virtual box there is a complete package where uh, you have ensp wireshark and virtual box so install along with ensp so right click on switch and then capture data on any interface you want to capture data so you can capture so i will capture on uh, gigabit ethernet 001 on this interface that's this interface got blue and now it means that uh, this will capture data and wireshark will automatically open so wireshark is ready to capture data now this is some i will tell you later but now we will capture data so send data ping ping gateway if you ping gateway so data will go through this path here and come back to this path so this path get some traffic so wireshark will capture data 1.1 is the address of a gateway so click it means that packets are going and reply is coming so we will go to wireshark yes there look here there is packets are going and reply are coming i will show you how wireshark work so first our broadcast packet was generated by uh, pc the pc's mac address is here source mac address is here i will show you is this a source MAC address or not? Click here where the MAC packet. So this address is 2D78. PC once MAC address 2D78. So here is 2D78. It means that it's the MAC address of source and it will broadcast our packet and and ask that who is the 1.1, which is the gateway. I have uh, ping. So tell. 1.2 which is the IP address of PC uh, our broadcast asking that who is the gateway 1.1 tell 1.2 the PC's MAC address and then uh, this reply this uh, router will reply this is the MAC address of router and router will reply to this this is the MAC address of PC look here this is the MAC address of PC this is the MAC address of PC so here is the here is now is the destination MAC address this is the uh, routers MAC address router will reply to PC through ARP that 192.168.1.1 is it this MAC address so this is look this is the source MAC address and this is telling uh, router that this is uh, this this IP address is on this MAC address so understand I will show you is this the MAC address of router or not let's check uh, we will confirm from here display MAC address MAC address so on G001 this is MAC address is configured on 001 001 this device is connected so this is the MAC address of this interface look 7BA1 so here is 7BA1 here is 7BA1 and the second device is the second device connected here is on E001 at this interface is this 2D78 which we are talking about the PC's MAC address so how this is uh, how a white shark works so this these two uh, steps are are required and after that these are the ping packet five ping packet one ping and reply 
and then second ping and then reply the third ping request and then reply fourth ping request and reply and fifth ping request and replies look uh, 1.2 which is the pc source and destination was the router so it's a ping request was sent from this address to this address and now the router's address reply the pcs so this is how this is working one ping request was completed one and now the second was generated through 1.2 pc's address this is the router address again the router reply to pc this is how this is working so this five packet were ping packet which were captured these five packets are there those packets and the first is the r packet which is not visible here this is just a invisible packet is the routers working or pc is working so this is how working so how this works so one more thing what is this this is uh, a switch working for uh, avoiding the switching loops like like we configure ospf and rip on routers uh, to rip and uh, ospf send their neighbor uh, to maintain the urgency relationship they exchange packets so these are some packet packets so but now we are at uh, switch so switch is continuously sending the uh, packet to neighbor switches in this case only one switch is connected but uh, in future if someone comes and uh, attach on other switch and switching loop created so route uh, this switch is transmitting packet to avoid the switching loop so this is the mac address host mac address of uh, uh, switch let's confirm is this the mac address of switch or not uh, bridge mac address yes i have already 27.6 is the mac address of switch this is the 27.6 is the mac address the destination is the spanning pre protocol to avoid the loop and the protocol is stp and these are the some priority mac address and cost so this is uh, this router is continually sending packet to avoid loops switching loop in future so in between if we ping pc if we ping pc for capturing data now we'll capture data at this link we capture data uh, this link at this link so let's see what happen so for this link wireshark open in another window look this was window for 001 g001 and this window is for uh, this this interface now we will ping and observe what happened look the data is going in the same way that this this is the mac address of that computer broadcasting are asking that who is the 1.3 now the router's mac address it's reply that 1.1 is attached to this mac address and this followed by the five ping packets and here again uh, router is sending uh, 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 packets uh, to avoiding switching loop router uh, switch switch send its packet to all of its ports because any port can connect in future to any other switch so that's why router broadcast their uh, packet in all the ports to avoid the loops uh, loops uh, wireshark is work in other way in daily routine like we use internet if uh, so wireshark also work there yes we will open wireshark again i will show you how wireshark work I open the Wireshark and there are many virtual box, Wi-Fi, local area, network, Ethernet cable. I will observe in Wi-Fi what is going on by Wi-Fi. This look, this is traffic exchange between my Wi-Fi like I am searching something and uh, Wireshark is uh, uh, working to capture data between me and my Wi-Fi. So if I search something, this data Wireshark will capture here. So the data is continuously changing. So look, I am exchanging, searching something continuously. So Wireshark will capture this data. So this is how Wireshark works. So thank you for this video. Uh, please subscribe.